have a brilliant African proverb, mm -hmm. quote, you cannot turn the wind, so turn the sail, unquote. When you said that to President Assad, how did he take your statement? No, um, it, it was a part of a broader conversation. I tried to tell him that the winds of change blowing th through the region, actually not change, I use the word transformation. The transformational winds blowing through the region could not be resisted, at least not for long. And he had to understand that change and reform has to come. And then I, I shared this uh, proverb with him. And he said, exactly, I agree with you. I'm making reforms. We've had uh, elections. I've had a new government. And I said, but that doesn't go in far enough. If tomorrow you are asked to go beyond, or the people want fresh elections, or there's an agreement for, he said, I'm ready. But he thought he would win, because he was convinced that he had the support at the beginning, the first encounter. He had the support of his people, and if he didn't, he couldn't have lasted for about a year uh, with all the problems that he has had. Uh, it was, I think it was um, Gaddafi who said, all oh, my people love me. He didn't go that far. He said, they support me, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Uh, and also had the sense, his attitude was, all our problems are caused by foreigners. And it was quite striking because we outsiders are aware and are concerned about what's going on in Syria. He was concerned about what's going on outside. And it's the enemies of Syria who are causing all these problems. So he was, there was a denial arguing that um, what we see on television is the virtual world. And the real uh, world was what was, uh, we saw in Damascus. At that time, Damascus was quite peaceful, no bombs uh, and all this. And uh, one has to admit there is media war associated with this conflict that I have not seen in any of the conflicts I've been associated with over the past 15 years. So there's real, and both sides are playing it. And so he cannot uh, blame the other side alone. Yeah. Peace is part of your DNA, but in Syria and some other conflicts, could war actually lead to long-term and more stable peace with the removal of brutal regimes which appears to be happening in Syria and happened in Libya? What is your opinion? No, I, 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 first of all, uh, let me say the UN is not a, a, a pacifist organization. There are times when the UN has authorized the, the use of force. And sometimes it's been used very effectively. Take the first Gulf War, which was done with the UN uh, resolution. President Bush uh, Sr. with Jim Baker, Secretary of State Colin Powell, managed to put together an incredible coalition with thousands of soldiers to go and get Iraq out of Kuwait. That was done according to the law and restricted to the mandate. They did their job and pulled back. I know lots of people ask, why didn't you go to Baghdad? So we, have, we had no mandate to go to Baghdad. And really, it was very well executed. And as after that, Saddam was, uh, as uh, some people in Washington put it, was put in a box with all the sanctions around him that he couldn't threaten. Uh, uh, the neighborhood uh, 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 anymore. And so there are times, another example is Kosovo, where uh, even though the council did not endorse action in Kosovo, I as Secretary General endorsed it, saying that there are times when you have to put force at the service of peace. Because we had all lived through what happened in former Yugoslavia. We saw Bosnia, we lived through Srebrenica, and we couldn't sit back and now allow it to be repeated in Kosovo. So there are times when force is used. But what is important for us to remember is that uh, uh, was force, in fact, we had during the Iraq war, we had this exchange. And I tell the story in the book where between the foreign ministers, Secretary of State Powell, Joshua Fischer of Germany, 
de Vilpa, all the foreign ministers who were then were discussing war. And Colin Powell raised this and said, you cannot assume that war always leads to bad results. And Fisher, the German foreign minister, said, we are the, the best example. You know, uh, going on. so there are times, but we also ought to be careful that force, use of force can make the situation worse. And I believe further militarization and any use of force in Syria will make the problem much, much worse.